Nobody likes having their ideas stolen. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to protect brands in the United States and why it is so important. Hi, my name is Salam Otra, and I'm an attorney. More specifically, I'm a trademark attorney. And today I'm going to talk to you about trademarks and how to protect them. Now you probably haven't thought about trademarks too much unless you're about to start a business. And today I'm going to tell you four things you need to know while you're thinking about protecting your brand as part of a larger trademark portfolio. And as always, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below and me and my staff will get back to them as soon as we can. Now, the first thing you might ask is what exactly is a trademark? A trademark is anything a consumer might associate with you, your brand, your products, your goods and services. It could be a word like Febreze. It could be a short phrase like just do it. It could be a color like the color red for Netflix. It could be a type of packaging like the Coke bottle and so much more. Basically a trademark is anything and everything that someone associates with you and your brand. Two, you might ask, how do you go about protecting your trademark? Well, first things first, you need to register that trademark. A registered mark is the main way to deter copycats and counterfeiters from taking advantage of your goodwill. Registration allows you, the owner, to how to properly utilize and enhance your brand. The next phase of protection for your trademark in the U.S. is usually enforcement. Enforcement can range anywhere from sending cease and desist letters, and when that doesn't work, litigation. And litigation can involve state claims, it can involve federal claims, especially when you have a registered mark, that can provide an extra layer of protection that really establishes your ownership and the ability to enforce your mark. And the only way to utilize a right is knowing how to use it. Next, you might ask is why exactly should I get a trademark registration? Well, exercising your trademark right is one of the most important tools you have to own and protect your ideas. Ownership of a registered trademark allows you to enhance your brand and protect the way you want it to. Ownership of a registered trademark allows you to exercise control over the quality of goods you portray to the public. It's all about reputation protection. It opens the doors to expansion, conservation, and most of all, protecting what you own. A registered trademark, as mentioned before, is a great way of deterring copycats and counterfeiters. Having a registered trademark allows you to collect monetary damages, specifically profits earned by bad faith actors by manipulating and utilizing your brand and the cost of legal action taken against them. And specifically, you also get to use that cool little R logo. Finally, you might ask, how do you go about registering that trademark? Well, the United States Patent and Trademark Office is in charge of regulating registered trademarks. Well, the United States Patent and Trademark Office, the USPTO, is the federal agency in charge of regulating the registration of trademarks. If you are a US citizen, you can usually file a trademark application yourself. The USPTO provides a lot of information for you to be able to do that. As for foreign applicants, you are required to have a US bar attorney on record while applying for a trademark. Now let me get back to applying for a trademark application yourself. Yes, you can apply for a trademark application yourself, but some of the most common mistakes I see are misspellings, uh, wrong uh, information of ownership, poor description of goods and services, and wrong classes that your application might get registered into. Some of these mistakes usually end up costing extra fees, avoided application, and missed opportunities while your competitor has already jumped on a name, a phrase, a logo that looks eerily similar to yours, and now you might not get your trademark registered. I see this all the time, and the easiest way to avoid this is to hire a trademark attorney who is experienced in filing trademark applications who can maximize your chances of being registered. The cost of a trademark application is pretty simple. A properly filed trademark application is $250 per class. A class describes the industry or category your goods or services might fall into. For example, a brewery that brews beer has a tap room, sells merchandise that might be glassware, clothes, hats, is not only going to register their mark in one class. They'll probably want to register in at least three to four classes. 
that application can cost up to 750 to a thousand dollars when you're spending that kind of money you want to maximize your chances of being registered next you might ask is when's the best time to register your trademark well i would suggest if you are serious about protecting your name your logo and really enhancing your brand do it as soon as you think of that name logo or that brand. You can file an application with the USPTO with a perfect description of the goods and services you are providing. The sooner you file, the better, because there could be another company that might be filing something similar to your name or logo, and it might really deter your ability to register that mark. If you found this interesting and would like to learn more about how I can help you develop or manage your brand portfolio, please feel free to register for a free discovery call. My name is Sahil Malhotra, and thank you for listening.